Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to St. John's on this beautiful day that God has blessed us with. A little chilly, but that's okay. It is a beautiful day, and the sun is coming through the windows. It's, it's wonderful. So thank you for taking time out of your schedules to come wor worship our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. For those that are online, again, welcome. Thank you for worshiping with us also. Just a couple quick announcements for our visitors. Glad that you're here. Uh, everything will be on the screen, and I for, we don't have the back screen on. Um, yeah, that might help, because I like need that to read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so everything will be on the screen. If, if you like a hard copy, the bulletins of, of the Scott Dusher will have that for you. There is a, a slight change in part of the worship. When we get to the, the creed, okay, your bulletin is going to say the Nicene Creed. We are not doing the Nicene Creed this morning. Uh, we're doing the Apostles' Creed. And then uh, the first article of the creed will be on the screen, and Kelly will lead that. Uh, the second part of the creed is what the, the choir is going to sing, what we sang on Easter. Uh, that part of the creed and then we'll go back to the third article which is on the screen okay I think it's pretty easy uh, for those uh, also if you brought an offering we don't pass the plate so to speak but as you uh, share the peace or come to communion or afterwards we have an offering plate right here for that and then um, following worship we'll take a 10 or 15 minute break and then we'll come back for our uh, congregational meeting that we're having following uh, the service. Any other announcements that need to come forward? If not, please rise and we will begin our worship with the thanksgiving for baptism. If you, as you're able, please rise and face the font. <clears throat> Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the wellspring of grace, our Easter and our joy. Amen. Look, here is water. Here is our water of life. Hallelujah. Immersed in the promises of baptism, let us give thanks for what God has done for us. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your voice thundered over the deep, and water became the essence of life. Adam and Eve beheld Eden's verdant rivers. The ark carried your creation through the flood into a new day. Miriam led the dancing of your people as they passed through the sea into freedom's land. In a desert pool, the Ethiopian official entered your boundless baptismal life. Look, here is water. Here is our water of life. Hallelujah. At the river, your son, your beloved son, was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you open the floodgates of your reconciling love, freeing us to live as Easter people. We rejoice with glad hearts, giving all honor and praise to you through the risen Christ, our source of living water, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Look, here is water. Here, here is our water of life. Hallelujah. Our service continues with our gathering song, I Know That My Redeemer Lives.
Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. into your fold. Feed us, and we shall be satisfied. Heal us, and we shall be whole. Make us one with you, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. You may be seated for the hearing of God's word. by whole verse. The congregation reads the bold print. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O God, or Lord, and guide me along right paths for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before, before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 
Our second reading comes from 1 John chapter 3. We know love by this, that Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need, and yet refuses to help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this, we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God, and we receive from him whatever we ask, because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is the commandment, that we should believe in the name of of the, his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the spirit that he has given us. Word of life, word of love. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the gospel reading. Hallelujah. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Hallelujah. The Holy Gospel today comes to us from the book of John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up. I have received this command from my Father. This is the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. You may be seated and invite the children forward to you. <laughs> Might need that blanket today, huh? That was cold. You're just cold. It is a little chilly. Are y'all cold? Good, good. Cause I'm, I'm feeling good right now. So, how are how is everybody? Hey, you know what a shepherd is? Yeah, somebody who takes care of sheep. Someone who takes care of sheep. And what does the shepherd do for the sheep? Keeps them out of danger. Make sure they don't die. Make sure they don't die. Ooh, okay. Anything else the shepherd does? Keeps them together. Keeps them together. As Jesus said, that they know my voice, you know, and they follow me. Yeah. Anything else that the shepherd does? How about... Defense off predators. I kind of want to go through Psalm 23 real quick with you guys. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah let's, let's talk about some of that, okay? You think I'd have that memorized because I memorized it when I was confirmed like a million years ago. <laughs> okay. Um, the Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leaves me beside still waters. What does green pastures mean? What, why, what's he make, why does he make us lie down? Why does he make us lie down? To give us rest. To give us rest, right? And he leaves us beside still waters, right? That's what it said, right? So come here. Follow me. 
because we have some very still water right here, right? And what is this? What is this? This is, well, it's kind of holy water. It's a baptismal font where we have the water in it. And when we have a baptism, yeah, it is holy water. Uh, God's spirit is with the water. You know, and as y'all know, you make this, dip your finger in there, make the sign of the cross. You know, and that's the still waters that God brings us by so we can rest and be still. Isn't that kind of cool? He wants us to rest because we need to rest, right? Um, he, you know, he restores our soul and guides me on the right pathways. What is the right pathway? The path to God. And we just did a pathway to God, right? Because, you know, at the font, we remember that we are God's children, right? And if you'll follow me back, where another right pathway leads us where? <coughs> To the altar. And he talks about the altar in here, doesn't he? Uh, he prepares a table in the presence of my enemy, anoints my head with oil, and my cup is running over. It is at this table that even God brings our enemies to and makes us all one to love each other. So right paths, you know, to hear God's word, to go to the font, to remember that we are a child of God. To come to the altar and remember, again, we are children of God, and God feeds us, as the Good Shepherd does, right? To feed us, you know, with, with Christ's body and blood, to know how much God so loves us, and that God is always, always, always with us. If this was Christmas Eve, you know what I'd do, right? I'd have a candy cane, and we talk about, the, you know, being a J for Jesus. And you do that like everything. I do that every year and it's because it's, it's so good. <laughs> you can't get any better than Jesus, right? Uh, but that's what the shepherd does. Like you said, it protects us, feeds us, cares for us, loves us. And who, who does Jesus love? Everyone. And every okay, and all means all. all means all. Yeah, Jesus loves every single person ever created, ever lived, and ever will live. Because he made everybody. Because he made everybody. You just can quit, you know? <laughs> That's it. Because he made everybody. And he wants everybody to know that he is the great shepherd who loves us, cares for us, makes us take a nap. <laughs> you know, I'll probably take a nap this afternoon, you know, because I'd love to take a nap. Absolutely. <laughs> cares for us, always loves us. Now, he also tells us to help other people know, right? Because there's other sheep in the fold, you know, Jesus was talking about that, that, that don't know about him. And that's our responsibility, is to help everybody know that, that God loves them too. Isn't that cool? Yeah, a little bit more happier when we're, when we're, when we feel loved, right? Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Can you help me pray? Gracious God, thank you for loving us. Loving us in the word that we hear, in the waters of the font, and the meal at the table. That all helps us to know your love. Help us to live that love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, guys. <coughs> Gracious God, may the words of my mouth and meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your hearing, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. In whose name we pray. Amen. <coughs> I'm very proud. I'm very proud of all that we are doing here at St. John's, especially to reach in to each other and as we reach out to those in need in our community. So I want to start off a little bit of this time to talk about how we're reaching in to each other to help each other. Late last year, after a year of being back into our building, for our visitors, uh, I don't know if you knew, but four years ago, our building was like blown away by a tornado. And we got back in in October of last year after 973 days. 
Um, so, uh, so after a year being back into our building with all the newness and all the excitement that that brought, our council realized the financial shortfall that we were experiencing. They said if giving trends continue as they are, we have about three years of funds in the bank, you know, to get us through, to sustain us. During our council retreat at the very first of this year, uh, we began to address our stewardship, the giving of our time and our tr talents and our treasures. Yes, the giving of money was at the forefront of our thinking. However, the greater issue, the greater issue was to help us to reach in, to get to know each other again and or better, because we are blessed to have many new faces here at St. John's. After three years of no building and being in isolation because of the pandemic, we experienced a loss of fellowship, of nurturing relationships with each other. Now for a moment, I'm gonna step out of my pastor hat and put my dean's hat on. Uh, I am the dean, assistant to the bishop for our Southeastern Synod, you know, uh, to oversee the, the ALCA churches in the Middle Tennessee area. And having talked with them, you know, for the last year or longer, we are not alone. We are not alone. Every church I work with, either as the dean and as an active partner in our community, we are all, we are all experiencing the very same post-pandemic problems of coming back together, getting to know each other again because we had been isolated for so long. So back to my pastor hat. Having realized our issue, our council made the proactive decision to not wait for a fall campaign to address our stewardship issues. We designated today, actually, April 21st, you know, to have this congregational meeting to be transparent about our stewardship. And as you know, our council did not stop there to address our stewardship issues, which again, most churches are having. We decided to provide a ministry fair to help everyone know about the many ministries and ways to get involved here at St. John's. And we did that, you know, yes, in an effort to, to get everyone involved because it is important to get involved to get to know each other again, to nurture and to grow loving and lasting relationships. With the time and talents that we received, and thank you, Barb, for compiling them, and I just gave her some more today, so you got a little bit more work to do, we are getting more and more people involved in worship and in our ministries. And we are planning additional ways of reaching in to nurture relationships with each other, which is so important for the life of the church. Our council stewardship initiative does not stop after today's meeting. If churches are going to survive, and if they are going to thrive, relationship nurturing, caring for each other is to be a way of life. And we have a pretty good example of that by a guy named Jesus of Nazareth, bringing people together. So now for the reaching out, reaching out to help those in need in our community. You know, that is, that absolutely is who we are at St. John's. We've been that way for the last eight or 10 years, reaching out into our community. And we are known, we are absolutely known for all that we are doing in our community. During the rebuild and throughout the pandemic, we were known as the church without walls for all that we continue to do to help those in need in our community. For me, the outreach we did truly kept us together for those 973 days without our building. 
and it's especially through our compassion ministries and especially maybe even more so uh, with compassion sunday for those that have been around compassion sunday was where during the pandemic we would drive by in our cars and we would bring food items and room in the inn items to take to those in need in our community and it was a wonderful time of getting to be with each other in the midst of that pandemic and that ministry is going to continue again starting next sunday where we're going to bring food items and room in the inn items for those in need and then um, we're going to have after church after sunday school compassion is going to supply lunch for us to build your own sandwich and then we're going to put together blessing bags bath bags and bark bags you know to continue to reach out to ourselves and to our community so with all that said in case you are wondering all this stewardship issue began well before we received that wonderful monetary gift why do we and why are we having this major stewardship focus because as a church of Jesus Christ it is to be our way of life the writer of first John I just love first John it is a great letter but again over the last three weeks now is showing us the purpose for the church of Jesus Christ two weeks ago John reminded us of Jesus's once and for all sacrifice atoning sacrifice not just for our sins but for the sins of all people of all time last week John reminded us despite our continual sin of not believing in God and Jesus and not living God's all-inclusive love God still sees us as a sinless spotless beloved children of God that we are and because of Jesus's atoning sacrifice we will be like him and that's a powerful thing that we will be like Jesus what an amazing God we believe in that we worship and that we are called to serve today John continues his wonderful faith inspiring words to help us in the stewardship of our lives so we're going to have a short Bible study you know on our text from first John and he began with the words you know love by this that Jesus Christ laid down his life for us Jesus the Creator who became the Redeemer and the Sanctifier became flesh to lay down his life to give us life which is what Jesus did John then says and we ought to lay down our lives for one another how do we do that well by loving people each other and nurturing and caring for people building relationships just as Jesus did this next phrase that he had just incredible how does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help that's a great question John knowing all Jesus did for the world to help care for and love the world how can we not how can we not help and provide compassionate help for all like Jesus did then he goes on little children let us love not in word or speech but in truth and action talk is cheap isn't it is talk cheap I can stand up here and in Sunday school classes and Bible studies and talk to talk all day long can't I I absolutely can and don't get me wrong do not get me wrong we are to talk we are to talk we are to let people hear the message of the good news of Jesus Christ I believe what many if not most people want and need to see the truth of the good news of Jesus Christ in action when people are hungry for whatever reasons they do not need to just hear God loves you Jesus loves you he died for you 
They need to be fed. They need to be fed. They need to be unconditionally fed, clothed, and cared for, just in action, just like Jesus did. And this is God's commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he has commanded us. In these words, God and Jesus commanded us to believe in his name. And we define Jesus' name, God's name, as love, as an all-inclusive love, and commanded us to love one another and to love all people just as Jesus did. Then he ends that reading, All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this, by loving as Jesus did, we know that he abides in us by the spirit that he has given us. Jesus did command us to abide in him as he always abides in us. Jesus is always a part of us. That is why we do all we are doing in worship, Sunday school, faith formation classes, Bible studies, fellowship events, um, and all of our compassion ministries. Through all of those events, God is helping us to know God's Spirit is in us, to guide us, to help us know and to obey His command to love God and to love and care for all people. Thank you, John, for your words. Thank you, Jesus, for giving him those words. My friends, we absolutely have a God of love. A God of love, as the gospel writer of John reminds us, that Jesus is the great good shepherd of Psalm 23. The good shepherd who makes us, absolutely makes us, and who gives us rest in the green pastures and beside still waters, who restores our souls with grace, with love, forgiveness, peace, and hope, who guides us along right pathways of God's, of Jesus' name, of all-inclusive love who absolutely walks with us and often carries us through the many dark valleys and shadows of the deaths we experience in body, mind, and spirit, helping us to not fear. You know, I heard at my dean's retreat the other day that, don't know for sure, but the, the phrase, do not be afraid, do not fear, is like, in the Bible, like, 365 times like for every day of our lives do not fear do not fear rather to know and feel God's constant presence of comfort who brings our enemies which we are enemies too right brings us all to the table the very presence of comfort through that overflowing cup of forgiveness and love, anointing us all to be one and helping us know goodness and mercy is with us forever. That is our great good shepherd who laid down his life for the sheep. Jesus said, I know my own, which we believe to be all people and and my own know me. You know, Jesus also said in today's gospel, I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. And he was talking to the Jewish people at that time. The other people includes the Jewish people. You know, there seem to be Christians, Muslims, Hindu, Buddhists, agnostics, atheists. Jesus invites all people. And then he says, I must bring them also. So they too can listen and know my name of love and my voice of love. Psalm 23, great psalm. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, right? And that my 
is very personal. When you say those words, the Lord is my shepherd, that is very, very personal. And I've done this before, and some of y'all have done it, and some of you haven't, but I'm going to have you fill in the blank. <clears throat> Are you ready? I think you're going to get it. The Lord is my shepherd. That personal God just became very corporate. Not only is Christ the good shepherd in me, he's in you and you and you and you and you out there and everybody. It's very corporate. God created us all to be that one spirit, to be that in that one flock. What if the world, what if all people and knew the great good shepherd of love for all? Our stewardship focus is to help us and our world know our God of love with the gift given to us by the gift of Jesus Christ through his life, death, resurrection, and ascension that gives us the assurance of God's forever grace. So with that gift, our stewardship focus will also be on another gift the gift of that money that we were given, that we will talk about later. <coughs> God has blessed us with the gift of Jesus Christ and the gift. How will we be good stewards of those gifts?
everywhere, let us profess our faith together with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Peace of the risen Christ be with you all. And also with you. Let's take a quick moment to share the peace with each other. sharing the piece, you may be seated. If you have an offering, you can bring it up as we prepare for the next part.
risen and love has triumphed over fear. Let us pray for the church, the world, and all those in need of the good news. Shepherding God, gather your church whenever we wander from you and one another. Empower our church and ministries around the world to worship and serve alongside global companions as equal partners and co-workers in the gospel. God of grace. Yeah. Nurturing God, preserve the health of biomes and ecosystems. Inspire scientists, researchers, conservation organizations, and all people entrusted with the task of caring for creation, that we may be better stewards of the world around us. God of grace. Yeah. Almighty God, lead nations and communities to share resources, cooperate in solving conflicts, and listen to the wisdom of indigenous peoples. Help all those with power to share it and to use such power for good. God of grace. Yeah. Loving God, protect the very young and the very old, those living without housing, victims of domestic abuse, and all who live with chronic illness or compromised immune systems. Guide communities to actively care for people who are vulnerable. We also pray for all those on our prayer sheet and those we lift up with our voices and in our hearts. Terry Camp Campbell, Maria Cavender, Gladys Gross. God of grace. Yeah. <coughs> Gracious God, help this and all communities of faith to listen for your voice. Call us away from things that distract us from following you. Invite us more deeply to more deeply love and serve people who are lonely, isolated, and on the margins. God of grace. Yeah. Gracious God, on this resurrection day, and every day is a resurrection day, we lift up the the family and friends of Kathy Barger and David Carlson as Scott Barger will, will have his celebration of life service this coming Friday and David's celebration of life this coming Saturday. Be with Kathy and, the, and Scott's kids and their whole family and David's family as they mourn their loss and help us to come together to celebrate the wonderful lives that, that we are now grieving. Uh, but help them to know, help us to know the proof and the power of Jesus' resurrection has brought their servants home. God of grace. Living God, we give thanks for our ancestors and faith. Strengthen us to share the good news in our own day. God of grace. Into your hands, most merciful God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your abiding love through Jesus Christ our resurrected and living Lord. as you were able. resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, and with the angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. As the one people of God, may we come together to boldly pray and even more boldly live the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, Lord, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. the gifts of God for the people of God and everyone is welcomed at God's table of grace um, you got the next slide is there a next oh no never mind <laughs> um, yeah this is the good shepherd calls us to this table that's the purpose of Jesus' life to bring us to this table to know the love that the Christ has given to us um, so we come to this table you know with joy and thanksgiving for what God has done for us. So come to the table where, where all are welcome and all are welcome. Yeah, we do have bread. We use bread for the communion. If you'd like a wafer instead, please let us know. Uh, we commune by intinction after receiving the host. The gold chalice has wine. The clay chalice has grape juice. And we just invite people to come down the center aisle and go back to their seats around this side. If you'd like to stay at the altar for a time of prayer, you're more than welcome to do that. And for those that are online, this is Christ's body and blood, God's love given and shed for you. Come, now all is prepared.
please rise as you are able. The body and blood of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, keeps us in God's grace this day and for always. that your love may bring joy to the hearts of all people through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May our glorious God grant you a spirit of wisdom to know and to love the risen Lord Jesus by humbly serving and loving all people. The God of life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen.
be to God. Hallelujah. And come join us in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. you.